Hello. Hey, Vic, it's me. How did you get this number? Well, I got it from your phone last night when you were asleep. Vic, I, um... Yes? I was wondering if I was ever going to see you again. Uh, hello? Am I disturbing you? Is that a rhetorical question? You finally showed up this morning in last night's clothes. I don't see how that's any business of yours. Victoria. I am fully aware that our living arrangement is just for show, but if you're bent on having an affair... It's not an affair if we're divorced. That's beside the point. You need to be careful, whatever or whomever you're doing. You better damn well be discreet about it. Or you'll what? Reveal more of our secrets? I know that you led Treadwell to those tapes and all for what? Your petty jealousy? Now Daniel's defense is at risk. You've clearly become as delusional as you are, selfish. The fact that either of our children find themselves in harm's way rests squarely on your shoulders, not mine. In society. Conrad Grayson. Expecting someone else, I bet. As a matter of fact, yeah, I've got a showing, so if you don't oh, mind. Yes. I had my people contact a few galleries who were expressing interest, and we just let them know that your current collection's already spoken for. Wow. You really have been carrying on with my wife. Your ex-wife. Well, well, it hasn't been finalized yet. So what, you, um, you've been having a followed? <sighs> Behooves a person in my position to cover his bases. And I also had you investigated. It seems that you have been nurturing quite a shady existence. I mean, dealing in black market auctions, allegations of forgeries. Well, allegations are just that, aren't they? Allegations. I mean, you of all people should know that. Innocent till proven guilty. Oh, yeah, but I have proof in the form of my very first de Kooning that I purchased. Broker by a fetching young Vicky Harper years ago. You see, I had that painting appraised when I found out that she'd sunk back in with you. And it turns out that that de Kooning is worth less than the frame it's in. So what do you want? You want your money back, hmm? Or do you want to just excise me like you did to the last man she loved? Oh, sure, she told me what you did to David Clark. She told you what I did? What you both did. Yeah, well, eventually he would have learned that Victoria's word is about as authentic as the paintings you forged. But to answer your question, no, I'm not here to excise you. I know I'm not the only wealthy collector you and Victoria worked your con on all those years ago. So if you really want to finalize Victoria's shame, I could have her arrested for knowingly brokering forged classics. Or you could do the noble thing. You could take your current spade of masterpieces and you could clear out of this joint and leave nothing behind. But my wife... You know, you might want to leave. Before I break every one of the 14 bones in your face. It's not exactly Dominic's best work. A little half-assed, if you ask me. It's unfinished. And if I'd known you were such a masochist, I'd have volunteered to rub this salt in your wounds myself. Oh, come on. Where's the witty repartee? If you're expecting me to reveal so much as a wince of pain at the hands of your emotional torture, you can forget it. Wow. Color me disappointed. Don't be, Conrad. When I choose to react, you'll know it. And I guarantee that you'll not just regret each and every one of your petty little torments, but that the suffering you so glibly spread around will come back at you tenfold.